multiplication problem solving. i like us to take a look at this video scene. Two of you want to take a trip to New York City for five days and see the sights. You want to especially take a boat ride and see the Statue of Liberty, Lower Manhattan, and the famous Brooklyn Bridge. If the airfare for one way is $279 per person, and the hotel rate for double occupancy is $235 per night, what is the cost for the airfare and the hotel for the two of you for the five days? Let's do the math. The airfare per person is $279. But notice, it's one way. It's not for round trip. And that means you pay $279 when you go and $279 when you come back again. And the hotel costs for double occupancy is $235 a day. And you're going to stay in New York City five days. And the question is, what is the cost for the airfare and hotel for two persons? So, per person, it's $279 to go and to come back. So that's two airfare prices. So we have to do 279, and it's two people, times four. Because you're doing actually four trips, there, back, there, and back for the two people. So 9 times 4 is 36, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So those tickets to fly to New York cost for two people $1,116. Now you also stay in the hotel for five days. So it's $235 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So to stay in that hotel for 5 days cost $1,175. And the question is, what is the cost for the airfare and hotel for two persons? So we have to add these two amounts together. $1,116 and $1,175. Add them together. 5 plus 6 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. So to stay in New York City for five days at the hotel, including the airfare, costs two thousand two hundred and ninety-one dollars. This is a helicopter simulating a rescue. In flying a helicopter, one must be conscious of the fuel consumption. You don't want to run out of fuel flying a helicopter. just witnessed a simulated rescue with a helicopter. And I went on the internet, on a Bell helicopter text on 407, I found this information. And I have this on the whiteboard here, on this Bell helicopter text on 407, the fuel consumption is 190 liters per hour. Now one liter equals 0.264 gallons. And what we want to find out is how many gallons of fuel is needed to fly two and a half hours. And you can see on this sheet that that's the maximum duration that this helicopter is made to fly, two and a half hours. So we want to see how much fuel will be used in two and a half hours. So the fuel consumption is 190 liters. Now we want to find gallons. Now one liter equals 
0.264 gallons. So we've got to take 190 times 0.264. So 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 6 times 0 is 6. 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11. And 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Let's add up these three columns together, these rows, these three rows. 0, 6, 7 plus 4 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 8 is 10. And 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. And we have 1, 2, 3 decimal places, so we've got to go 1, 2, 3. So, 190 liters per hour and gallons then, it would be 50.16 gallons. But that's in one hour, but this is per hour. So the question is, how many gallons of fuel is needed to fly two and a half hours? So we got to take 50.16 times 2.5. Let's do the math. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Let's add these two rows together. 0, 10. 1 plus 3 is 4. 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 1. Now let's count all the decimal places. 1, 2, and here's 1 over here, 3. So we've got to move this 3 places. 1, 2, 3. So we'll find that's how many gallons of fuel is needed to fly 2 and a half hours? 1254 gallons of fuel. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.